Hello all, welcome to yosua.com test automation tutorials. Today we are going to learn Selenium software setup on Mac machine. There are five software components required for Selenium setup. Java JDK, editors like Eclipse or IntelliJ, Selenium server standalone jar files or Selenium client libraries, drivers like Chrome driver, Kiko driver and Internet Explorer driver. And you need web browsers like Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Safari. We are going to install one by one. So, first we will install JDK. Before that, we have to check whether Mac machine has Java in it. So, just to open terminal and type Java hyphen version. If Java is there in your machine, it will return the Java version. When you hit enter, else it will say, you don't have Java in your machine. So it says we don't have Java in our machine. So click OK and we'll install the Java. Open a new tab. Yeah, and just click JDK 13. Scroll down and accept the license agreement and then look for Mac OS and click the hyperlink it will download the setup or uh, installation file on your mac machine once it is downloaded we can install it and then again we can check whether it is installed properly or not by running uh, java hyphen version command on terminal it's downloaded just double click again just double click it to install click continue install so it is installed now let me type java hyphen version yeah we have java 13 on mac machine next you need editors like uh, eclipse or intellij to write your uh, program or uh, scripts i'm going to install uh, eclipse as i am familiar with eclipse ide so go here and look for uh, Eclipse ID for Java developers and download the Mac DMG file. Click download. It's downloading. It's downloaded. Just to open it. Yeah, just put it in the applications so it's done now we can check whether Eclipse installed properly or not click open launch create new workspace I will create automation workspace and open it and launch so Eclipse is installed properly now we'll install the other softwares next we are going to download the selenium server standalone from selenium.hq.org website so here you can download the uh, uh, selenium server standalone just click the download latest version 
just click keep it will be there in your uh, downloads folder you can copy and paste it later now we will uh, download drivers so i'm going to download chrome driver here just uh, download the latest one and uh, yeah mac package yeah we have to extract this one yeah just double click it yeah it is there we will copy it later and the fifth one is web browser already we have chrome on this machine so we don't need to uh, download chrome again so now we will uh, write simple uh, selenium script to check whether everything is working fine or not okay so let's go to eclipse close it and create a new project so name it selenium So now I'm going to create the new uh, class. I will name it as test selenium. Add the public static wide main. And just check uh, to check whether Java is working fine or not. You just need to type uh, system.out.println yeah and hello world yeah if it is returning hello world on the console which means we have uh, java in this machine yeah it is returning the hello world so now we will create a new folder to keep all our uh, chrome driver and jar files so lips now copy chrome driver and paste it inside lips folder also copy selenium server standalone and paste it inside lips folder now lips it has a chrome driver and selenium server standalone jar file now what we are going to do we are going to write a simple selenium script to invoke a browser yeah First, we have to set the Chrome driver path. So, system dot set property. Yeah, the next second one. Here, you need to mention the Chrome key value, Chrome driver key value, web driver dot chrome dot driver and then here you need to give the path so dot slash and then lips slash chrome driver space three and then now we are going to create web driver object so yeah before that you have to import the jar files so right click on your project and go to build path configure build path 
and go to libraries yeah here add jars so we have jar files here just select it and apply and close so now again we will try to create a web driver object yeah okay i will name it as driver equals new chrome driver yeah and then driver dot get inside that you have to mention which you are you wanted to uh, open in chrome browser i will open google website so google.com okay i think this much is sufficient to validate the um, selenium setup so let's run it right click and run as java application so it says the driver is not executable okay first time you will receive this er error message so for that you have to make your chrome driver as executable file if you see here it is shown as text file so we have to make chrome driver file as executable file so that is very simple um, what you can do you just uh, copy this or open this path and then open terminal yeah here uh, type ch mod and then plus cx and then we have to mention the path or just drag and drop it here yeah hit enter now you can see it is shown as a executable file again go back to your uh, eclipse and try to run it again Yeah, looks like it is working. There are some errors. Yeah, we don't have proper uh, Chrome driver. Yeah, before that, we have to check the Chrome version. Go to help about. So we have 76. So we will install uh, 76 Chrome driver. Yeah, we downloaded 78. We'll download the 76. Yeah, this one. Yeah. yeah just copy this and delete it from here and you can paste it so name should be four now here let's run it yeah we we have to make uh, Chrome driver as executive file. Okay. Yeah, let's run it. To open a Google website on Chrome browser successfully, which means we have all set up required for Selenium on this Mac machine. If you like this video, subscribe and share it with your friends and colleagues thanks for watching see you in next video